Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can use a feature on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator called cubic regression. And so we're going to go ahead and turn the calculator on. And when we want to use cubic regression is when we have a data set, so some X and Y values, and we're able to plot them on our calculator. And then we want to figure out, so, so we know it's a cubic function, uh, whether we're talking about the differences of the Y values and we figure out that the third differences are constant and so we know that it's a cubic function we just want to write the equation of it so that's what we can use this cubic regression feature on our calculator to do so in order to do this we need a data set so I'm going to go into stat and for edit we're going to hit enter and for L1 we're going to type in our x values so for this example I'm going to type in 1 through 7 so 1 enter 2 enter 3 4 5 6 and 7 and so now we're going to go over to L2, and that's going to be our Y values. So for this example that we're going to do, we're going to use negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, negative 16, negative 44, negative 94, and negative 172. Okay, so now I have my, my scatter plot essentially. I hit graph, and nothing shows up. So we have to adjust a couple things here. First of all, we're going to go to our window and if we remember my x values were 1 through 7 so I don't really need to see all the way to negative 10. We can leave x max at 10. For y man I had a negative 172 in my data set so let's change this to like negative 200 just so that we can see all the way down and have enough room and then y max so let's just leave that at 10. So we hit graph and we notice we still don't see anything. So anytime we're working with scatter plots we always want to make sure let's go back to y equals Across at the top up here we see plot. So right now plot one is not highlighted, so I want to go up to it and hit enter. And so now see how plot one is highlighted black? That means I've turned it on. So now when I hit graph, there's my scatter plot. So once we have that graphed, we can now go into stat, go over to calc, and we want to go down to where it says cubic reg, which stands for cubic regression. At this point we hit enter. And now we want to make sure our lists are correct. So where is our x values? They're in L1. Where are our y values? That was in L2. So now once that's good, we can go down to calculate and hit enter. And it does all the work for us. Okay. So it tells us that my equation would be y equals negative x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x minus 4. So now what we can do is we can use this equation, go back to y equals, and we can actually graph it so that we can see it with our scatter plot. So that was a negative x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now we hit graph and we watch the magic happen and it goes right through those points, okay? And so that's how we can use the cubic regression feature on the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator.